lot of people are hoping the new year will bring a new job, but if you posted all your holiday parting pictures on Facebook, you, you might be out of luck. More employers are now using social media sites to weed out job applicants, and all it takes really is, you know, one bad word, one bad post, or one really bad picture. Here to help us avoid those mistakes and clean up our web trail is Jamie Turner, uh, mobile and social media expert. Jamie, great to see you. Happy New Year. Good to see you too. All right, so let's talk about the online reputation. Like, how do you ascertain what your online reputation would be? How do you figure it out? You know, the easiest thing is to Google yourself. So just go in, Google yourself, see what comes up. But then you have to drill a little bit deeper. You have to go into Facebook, you have to go onto Twitter and start doing searches for yourself there. And if what you find is questionable, you got some problems. In fact, 40% of all employers are now looking at social media sites to double check whether or not the people have a good reputation or what they're doing. 70% of them have declined to interview somebody based on what they found online. But it just, so they didn't get in the door. They may have gotten in the door, but because of what they're doing on social media. And it, it's interesting because the, the world has changed and people's behavior hasn't changed, but now we're actually seeing the behavior and we're posting it and sharing. Exactly. And that's the issue. If there's a line, whatever happens in Vegas stays on YouTube. Yeah. And so basically the bottom line is, hey, it's going to get uploaded. And if you go out and have a great wild time, it may be a great wild time that you're re visiting worse yet a prospective employer is seeing that and that's a challenge because you think about the stack of resumes they see something they don't like they just flip your resume over again. all right we've got a college grad trying to get that job right you know had a spring break, break vacation yeah. so some stuff's out there how do you clean it up well there are a couple of things you can do first of all go to your friends is there an app for that <laughs> there are companies that will will actually they can't clean things up as much as they can help you manage it but as a person the first thing you do call friends up hey can you take those photos down don't like those photos of me on there if they refuse hopefully they won't refuse untag yourself from those photos so if they're on Facebook you're tagged on them you can untag them which will help minimize the problem yeah and I guess a lot of hitting the delete button helps too hitting the delete button before you post if you're getting ready to post something and you think your grandmother wouldn't approve of it don't post it. That's the bottom line. It's as simple as that. It is that simple. But for some reason, we just don't use common sense with social media. People don't. And you really need to start thinking about that moving forward, especially in a tough economy like right now. I did a Google search on you before coming on here. Oh, you're, boy. you're squeaky clean. I'm clean. Your grandmother would I'm be clean. very happy. So oh, the good. good news is everybody should follow your lead on that. All right. Fantastic stuff. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Great. Good stuff, folks. All right.